All right, so we're gonna take a look at the newly spoiled set seven gems here. Kind of talk about them a little bit because um, if you're new to Hex, you may or may not know we rotate every um, we rotate c cards from sets every two set releases. So every even numbered set, we get the oldest two sets rotate out. But every odd set release, the format still changes a little bit because all the socketed cards are going to be different in Hex because some of the gems change. We're not gonna have a full gem rotation, but some of them, some of them are coming back. So let's start with, show off the new offerings. Let's take a look at these. I've not looked at these yet before, so let's take a peekaboo here. Minor Blood Orb of Tomes, one shot on this crypt. When a troop enters an opposing crypt, this gets plus two power. Death Cry, Summon, and Abomination. It gets plus power and defense equal to this troop's. Wow. This is really good. The the flesh craft on a runier is kind of insane, right? Like they kill your runier and then you get a large threat left over. Flight and swift strike. Yeah, I was expecting the the valor deck and the. Um, the Dreadling Gem to go away, because those are pretty specific ones. Um, Flight and Swift Strike is pretty good. It looks like they're all single thresholds again. Some of the original gems had double thresholds, but... Gladiator 1, so plus 1 attack on our turn and plus 1 defense on their turn. That's interesting. Gain charges equal to this troop's power. Okay, this is sweet. Major Sapphire Clarity. So we had the Miracle Gem before. Oh, wow. Okay, so the Minor Sapphire of Lunacy. This makes um, this makes Terror Mill better in Immortal, right? Because it means when Azure Fate Sorcerers comes into play, we could put this Minor Sapphire of Lunacy and the Major existing sapphire berry gem on her and bury six cards off their deck yeah double double mill gems on the azure fate in immortal makes uh terror mill a little bit more consistent because you're getting to see 50 percent more cards The difference between minor and major. Certain cards say minor gems, and certain cards are major sockets and minor sockets. A minor gem can go into a major socket, but not vice versa. So, like, Dark Heart, for instance, has one major and one minor socket. Or in Warp Steel Shards Horn, for instance, only has just one minor socket, so you can't put a major gem in it. Here are the gems rotating out of standard into the immortal form. Okay, so we're losing losing the underworld and ardent ones. Those make sense. So we're keeping hope and protection. And what are the existing blood ones? We're keeping... I'm going to pull up the thing here. Oh, never mind. I could just keep scrolling down and they'll show us. So speed. Okay. It's interesting that hope is going to exist at the same time as the clarity. I feel like I feel like this clarity gem is probably going to be better than dark heart in the control deck and then hope for the sapphire diamond control deck if there's a dark heart sapphire diamond deck. Clarity seems like it's probably going to be ooh, it opens all fancy here when I click on it. The fate we've won is fine. It's just a fine mo minor gem. So dreadlings and valor are rotating. That's expected. Those are like make set specific mechanics. All right, cool. This is something I was really, I was really excited. This is probably more important than seeing some of the cards in the set when it comes to working on constructed decks for next season because, um, you know, what cards like Runier are going to be able to do is a big deal. All right, these are sweet. Um, okay, All right, let's play some hex.